In Excel, you can create a dynamic named range, which is especially useful for drop-down lists, so you can have as many values as you fill out without showing any blanks. To demonstrate how to create and use a dynamic named range, let's take a look at the Purchase Order with Price List template. This template already contains many different customizable lists, which could have any number of entries. For example, in the price list worksheet, we have a list of items and their corresponding item numbers and unit prices. We've created a dynamic range called list item description. It uses the offset formula to include all the items in column A, and the range stops with the last text value. You can easily add to this list by entering a new item and the named range updates to include it. Within the purchase order, we have a drop-down list in the description column. This refers to the dynamic named range list item description. And you can see that the item that we added is included in the drop-down list. Also, the lookup formulas in the item number and unit price columns automatically grab those details from the table in the price list worksheet. Let's do something similar to this with the vendor address. We have a vendors worksheet where we can enter the names and addresses for the vendors or suppliers that we use. We'll create a dynamic named range and use it in a drop-down box to make it easy to select a vendor for our purchase order. Before we create the dynamic range formula, let's start simple. We'll create a named range called list vendors that references cells A2 and A3 in the vendors worksheet. Next, we'll create the drop-down list that uses this named range as the source. The template uses VLOOKUP formulas to get the other address lines, so you can see that we can select a vendor and the address updates. The problem is that if we enter a new vendor on row 4, it will not be included in the drop-down list. We could change the named range to refer to A2 to A100 in order to make sure that the new vendors will be included in the list. But if we do this, we end up with a bunch of blanks in the drop-down list. Instead, we'll create a dynamic named range that extends only to the last vendor in the list. To create the dynamic named range, we'll replace A2 with index column A row 2. This returns the reference A2. Similarly, we'll replace A100 with index column A row 100. To make sure the formula still works, we can test the drop-down box again. For the final step, let's make this range dynamic. We'll replace 100 with a match function that returns the position number of the last text value in the range. If A4 is in the last row, this range will calculate to be A2 to A4. Now let's see it in action. We can enter a new vendor in the vendors list. Then in the purchase order sheet, the drop-down list automatically updates to include the new vendor that we added. There are other formulas, like offset, that you can use for creating dynamic named ranges. Take a look at the article on vertex42.com to learn these other methods.